Happy Thanksgiving, everybody. It's Wendy You Can 1 of You Can Play 2. And uh, I promised a quick little Thanksgiving morning update on this adorable little cartoon uke that I bought yesterday at the Walmart store. Uh, so first of all, let me just say I got something wrong yesterday. Um, the sale, these are $10 today and tomorrow only. Thanksgiving Day, Thursday, November 27th, 2014, and tomorrow, Friday, November 28th. And that's it. Just those two days. I said the whole weekend I was wrong. Uh, I had misread it. And uh, so anyway, that's the deal. The good news, though, so that's the bad news. The good news is you can, you can get the $10 deal online now through all day tomorrow, I think. It doesn't actually say online how long the sale is. I'm assuming it's the same two days. I don't know, I'd get them today if I were you, uh, just to be safe. In the store, the $10 sale is for today, starting at 6 p.m., which is insane, right? Because most of us, hopefully, will be eating turkey at that very moment, and not, hopefully, standing in line braving Black Friday sales. Please don't do that. I hope not. Um, so yeah, go online, buy them online. And the, the, the deal though is that the, the, the $10 ukuleles online, there are three designs. I didn't really recognize, well, I recognize one of them. One of them is Cars. It's brown. I didn't think that one was, I love that movie Cars, but I didn't think that uke was that attractive. And then there are two purple girly ones. One is Doc McStuffins, who is a little, little uh, African-American girl who heals Thick, broken things apparently and if you're a if you're anywhere in the medical profession or thereabouts you might actually really like that one it has all kinds of uh, medical paraphernalia all over the uke it's cute and this little girl healing something and um, the other purple one is called Sophia she's like a princess with some animals and birds around her and some books and uh, I thought she was Snow White. She looks like just Snow White. She just looks just like Snow White to me. I think I'm going to buy that one. I think it's cute. It's purple and it looks like Snow White. Um, so I'm going to go online and get that one for 10 bucks. As far as I know, as of yesterday, though, both those ukes were like 23 or so. And today they are 10. So that deal will not last past tomorrow as far as I understand. Um, this uke, the Minnie Mouse uke, so when I went to the store, all they had was Minnie and Mickey. The Mickey one is blue. Uh, Buddy Jesus Smokes, Kelly, made a nice little sound test video of the blue Mickey one yesterday. I will post a link to that if you want to go see what Mickey looks like. So this is Minnie. He has Mickey. Uh, those are $16 online. Um... $10 in the store if you dare to brave the store between 6 p.m. tonight and all day tomorrow. Good luck with that. Uh, but 16 bucks online is probably worth the extra six bucks. Uh, that price, as far as I know, is the regular price for those two. I don't know why they're less than the others, but I could be wrong. Who knows? But in any case, uh, those are 16 if you want to get them online. If you get them online and you are in the U.S. and have a Walmart store somewhere near you, uh, you can get them uh, with no additional charge for shipping, you will have to pay tax, but no shipping, and um, they will come to your nearest Walmart store, and you can go pick them up there. So that's what I'm going to do when I get the Sophia online. Uh, I do unfortunately have to go back either late tonight or early tomorrow or something uh, because I bought these for 20 yesterday, and I do want to get them for 10, and I'll need to go into the store today or tomorrow to do that. I thought I had all weekend. Oops. Oh, well. Uh, but if the lines are insane, you know, then 20 is not such a bad price that I paid for them. Um, I am liking one of them better than the other so far. Uh, this one's a little better. I think the other one has a little bit of a buzziness in the A string, and seems to be holding tune not quite as well as this one but I don't know it's only I've had them for about 24 hours at this point they're still strings are still settling I'm trying to stretch them and settle them fast and all that but uh, and they're certainly way better than yesterday but not quite there yet and they do they do uh, lose tune by the time I finish tuning still so but not nearly as badly as yesterday so I'll come back and make another video in a few days. I do intend probably to keep at least one of these. I think I'm going to keep this one. I may return the other one because I like the Mickey one now. I didn't really look at it in the store. I think I'm going to go buy 
I'm going to go exchange that for Mickey. Maybe two Mickeys, because I do think, so for anybody who's not already on the Seasons of the Ukulele, come join us now, because if you come join us in uh, exactly one month from midnight tonight, actually, I will be hosting a season of the ukulele, season 150. It's New Year's week. It starts December 28th, starts at midnight, December 27th, 28th. And um, I'll be hosting a season. It's going to be a really cool theme. It's going to be fun. Not telling you what it is, of course, because I can't do that. It's a surprise. It'll come out that Saturday night and uh, start on Sunday. And, you know, I'm thinking $10, adorable, really cool, kind of playable uke, I think might be a fun prize. So I might just go pick up another Mickey one because I think Mickey would be, uh, you know, suitable for all, right? Not just not just us girls who like hot pink mini. Anyway, so I did want to play it for you a little bit more than yesterday. Here's the other deal. Like, I don't know about you, but I, I cannot... I don't know how anybody could play something like this without a strap. There's nothing I could do that holds that in place without dropping when I move my hands to do stuff. And you know, my other uke has a very solid strap. I can let go of both hands. I can't do it with this one. <laughs> but with that one, I can let go of both hands at the same time and it will stay right here in this exact position where I play it. And then my hands are free to just play. So. I'm going to do that with this and then I'll be able to demonstrate much better for you. But as of this morning, I have not done that yet. Still a little on the fence about keeping them, but I think probably. So, um... I think the intonation issues are more due to me not playing them very well. Although, obviously, in my other uke, I don't have that problem. I can play anywhere in the fret. That sounds fine. With this one, you've got to be pretty accurate, I think, with where in the fret you play and uh, you know but it does it sounds all right and uh, so let's see if I can do this without a strap for y'all not as in tune as it was a moment ago when I started the video that for you so I can do this oops I didn't play oh that's the wrong fret not bad intonation right at least on those two strings <laughs> three strings not bad. So I just wanted to demonstrate that's the Born to Run solo. So, you know, that's the only thing I know how to play that goes all the way up the neck. Sorry, it doesn't use all the strings, but that's the, that's the best I can do to show you. It's actually not, not half bad all the way up, up the neck. So I am optimistic. I'll give you a better review, you know, sometime in a few days when it's more settled and maybe when I have three or four different ones. I never had UAS. I've been playing over a year. I have never had UAS until now. Now I'm just like, I want every cartoon you... I, I don't know what's up with that. They're adorable. They're cute. Okay, so this is Minnie. Uh, yeah, so a couple things about Minnie. So notice, first of all, the adorable little tuner knobs are their little pink plastic bows. Is that not just the cutest thing? Oh my gosh, so cute. Um, it does have geared tuners. They look like they're metal, but as uh, my friend Kelly Buddy Jesus Smokes pointed out, they are in fact not. They are plastic painted to look like metal. But our friend Laura online, who has several of these ukes and has had them for over a year, she loves them quite a lot. She says they do hold tune really well. The tuners are still working well after a year. She has replaced the strings on one of her ukes with, I think, Martin fluorocarbons. And the other, she's still playing these cheap plastic strings, which I read online are uh, fishing lines. So they're super cheap. They're very soft. They're, you know, they're all right. But I, 
I think personally I'm going to probably invest in a $5 set of Martin M600 fluorocarbon strings to replace them with because uh, so far the strings are the thing I'm the least happy with. Um, so that's that. A couple other things that Kelly pointed out. He's way smarter about looking at these things than I am. But in here, right about here, inside the body, there is a uh, triangular piece of bracing built in there that holds the holds the top of the uke to, to the back. Um, something else interesting. So the whole body is all one piece of plastic, the back of it. The, the top appears to be a separate piece that's, you know, however attached on there, however they do that with plastic glued on. Obviously the fretboard is a separate piece of, yes, plastic. Um, the fret wires themselves are plastic, I believe. Everything's plastic. Um, uh, these little fret markers, uh, I believe, are painted on or something. They look pretty solid. And um, yeah, the tuners, you know, from what others have said online, they, they're pretty good. Uh, but that's all plastic on the back there too. Every, pretty much everything here is plastic. Uh, I think those screws might not be plastic. No, they feel like plastic too. Even the screws might be plastic. I'm not sure. Um, so yeah, and then this piece is a, the, the top of the headstock here is a separate flat piece like the, like, like this piece. Um, so yeah, this plastic, I think the whole thing is plastic. It's pretty solid. It's nice, you know, it's thick plastic, seems pretty indestructible. Um, you know, I would think you could knock it around quite a bit and nothing bad would happen other than you might damage some strings or possibly some tuners, so be careful. Um, but yeah, the, the body, I think you could whack that around quite a bit and it would... It's good for percussion. It's really good. It's a whole lot louder. Um, the uke itself is very quiet and uh, Kelly reckons it's because of that triangular bracing inside the body you know the body doesn't resonate as much because the front and the back are held together by this brace a very solid bracing in the middle it's, it's it looks to be the same thickness of plastic as the rest so that's keeping it from resonating nearly as much as it would and also someone else pointed out has very thin shoulders up here i kind of like the look of that it's cute but but that also probably limits the resonant cavity now my guess is because you know, this thing is um, designed for small children, mainly. It is. Oh, yeah. I, I mentioned in my other video, it's 12 and a half inch scale length. So it's a small soprano. Um, it is called a guitar. If you look for it online, uh, it's called a guitar. It's not called a ukulele, even though we know that's what it is. Um, this is the box. All it says on it is guitar. It doesn't actually say anything else. Um, and uh, the other really interesting thing that I oops, forgot to point out yesterday is here on the end of the box, it talks about level one, two, three, and four. And this is for level two. And uh, I don't know if you can quite see what that says, but I will read to you what it says. It says level two is budding musicians. By age three, toddlers have begun to imitate the words and tunes of familiar songs, learning through rhyme and repetition. Open-ended toys encourage imaginative, creative play. So I think what that means is this uke is designed for ages three and up. Nevertheless, <laughs> guitar. Yeah. Anyway, um, there, there's the whole side of the box. Um, nevertheless, adults have been enjoying playing this uke, and some of them say it's quite good. Oh, you know. This one, till it settles and I have a decent strap to hold it so I can play it properly, I can't quite tell yet, but that's my uh, little mini review for Thanksgiving Day. More will be revealed. So uh, if you are at all interested in a very inexpensive and apparently decent playable uke, and you want one for 10 bucks, hurry up and get them today or tomorrow. If you want one for 16 bucks, Mickey and Minnie might, might still be available at that price as far as I know after today. Um, the regular prices are only like 20 bucks in the store and 23 to 5 ish online. So, not bad anyway. But anyway, have fun. Happy Thanksgiving, everybody. Have a fabulous turkey day. And uh, I'm Lynette Word. <laughs>